Hey Virgo, how you doing? We're going to be doing your reading here for January 2022. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, keep in mind these are general reads, so they may not resonate with everyone out there, okay? So if you are interested in a personal reading, that information is in the description box down below. And uh, Happy New Year to you guys. Let's see what's going on for you in January 2022. What's going on for Virgo? In January 2022, what we got going on? Okay, first card that comes out, we have the Ace of Wands. So for some of you guys, this is going to be a new beginning and passionately with somebody. Uh, for others of you, this is a new creative idea. This is you um, having an idea and really passionately wanting to go with it. So maybe it's something you love to do. Maybe it's, uh, you know, writing a book. Maybe it's uh, uh, photography. Maybe it's, you know, whatever it is, but something that you love to do here, okay? Let's see what your challenge is. So you do have a new idea and, and you really want to move forward towards it. Or you're in that energy of moving forward towards it anyway. Um, Ace of Wands too. I mean, even if it's just you focusing on yourself, your health, um, you know, working on you as well. Okay. Um, your challenge is being temperance, Sagittarius energy. All right. So could be dealing with the Sagittarius for some of you. Um, so... For some Virgos, you are, again, take what resonates, leave the rest out in the dust here. But uh, for some of you guys, you could be meeting a, another fire sign. It could be a Sagittarius. Um, for others of you, <clears throat> I feel like that you're focusing on starting something new that you love to do. But your challenge in January is just being patient, okay? Just having some patience to letting things unfold the way they're supposed to unfold here, okay? Let's see what's your focus, what's going on here. Pretty nice card so far, though. Let's see here. Your focus is the Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Again, could be a fire sign. Now, if this is you, this is you kind of taking that energy and uh, making some sort of transformations here, okay? Fire energy. Um, you know, the Queen of Wands is about has has their eyes on the prize and, and going to go get what they want, okay? So this could be you just kind of focusing on being successful or it could be focusing on you know, making a goal, make, you know, made, you made a goal and, and you're focusing on accomplishing those goals on a daily basis, could be weekly basis, monthly basis, okay? So this is uh, uh, energy of you just being very confident and, uh, and moving forward here, all right? Um, again, for others of you, I do feel a new connection, all right? Um, let's see your recent past, what's going on? Two of Swords being your recent past, so it's, I feel like maybe... For some of you guys, uh, possibly unable to make a decision towards something, um, or maybe feeling confused in a situation here. Um, so your recent past here, I feel like maybe you went within trying to see like, what do I want to do? What you know, what do I want to focus on? And um, I feel like you've you've kind of gained that uh, that fire within you to 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 make some changes, um, to make things happen for yourself. Okay, possibilities we have the six of coins. Taurus energy, it's still Earth energy, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Um, so, you know, again, energy of your finances, um, you know, Six of Coins is about kind of balancing things out as well, or having a balance in some sort of connection or a situation in general, all right? Uh, let's see your near future here. And you could be just wanting some sort, you know, just balance, you know, things balanced um, in a relationship or wanting a balanced relationship, um, but an equal give and take type of deal, okay? Your near future, we have the King of Wands, all right? So definitely a fire sign. At this point, I have to say there's a new fire, there's a fire sign coming in, Virgo, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius coming in for you, all right? So let's see here. It looks pretty good. I mean, there's there's uh, Ace of Wands is a new new beginning here. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it looks pretty, with temperance there, I feel like it's just patience being your challenge, wanting to speed things up here. In your fields, though, we do have Capricorn energy, the devil, all right? So in your fields here, you know, th there could be maybe a feeling of maybe this person being toxic or, or you are working on your shadow work right now, maybe trying to get rid of toxic things in your life or, 
um, maybe addictive things. It could be smoking, drinking, and things like that. It doesn't necessarily have to be, but you could be just overworking too, okay? Maybe you're just putting too much time into work, put, putting too much time into watching TV, putting, putting too much time into playing video games, you know, things like that. So in your fields right now, I feel like you're, you're looking at the toxicity of things and you're trying to clear that out, I feel like. But, but again, you know, th there's energy here of, um, of something toxic or you're thinking something is toxic, okay? Let's see here. We're going to clarify that. Um, let's see in your environment what's going on. The Eight of Wands. So Sagittarius energy. There's communication coming in. We also have, um, you know, a lot of the signs are getting this too because we have retrograde coming up um, and uh, we have the full moon in Cancer. So emotions, uh, you know, there's, there's connections that people are going to be, you might be hearing from someone from the past. It doesn't necessarily have to be romantic, but uh, people might be contacting you from the past. Could be ex-friends, co-workers, whatever it is. But there's definitely communication. There's there's changes in communication, communication coming in. A lot of fire in your reading, okay? So you could be in the past dealing with the fire sign. And maybe maybe this fire sign was just toxic. Maybe you had a toxic relationship with this person, something like that. But we'll see. Let's see here. Um, let me get two more cards. Let's see hopes and fears and then your outcome. Three of Cups being your hopes and fears. So you're kind of hoping for some sort of um, celebration or maybe someone is looking at you that way. And then your potential outcome, we have the Ace of Cups here. So there's a new beginning here starting for you. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, okay? Um, so somebody, you or somebody, or both of you guys, um, you're looking at celebration here. There is some sort of happiness, partying, having a good time. Ace of Cups being your potential outcome um simply straightforward reading there's communication coming in to where you're going to be happy the only thing is that maybe you're thinking that this connection or whatever it is could be a toxic connection could be that someone is obsessed with you though too okay um and again bottom of the deck six of cups so that tells me that this is someone from the past all right so definitely someone from the past coming in for you um, and it's in somebody, it, it could be that someone fell, that someone has a lot of emotions for you. You could be having this feeling towards them, but, um, but something here opened up to where they're, they're moving forward for Jan in, in the month of January, you got somebody here that, you know, again, ace of wands, ace of cups, you have the temperance, somebody maybe doesn't even have the patience and wants to communicate with you. Like it's, it's a lot of fire energy, a lot of shit going on here in a good way. All right. So anyway. I'm going to leave it at that, uh, Virgo. It's looking pretty good. <laughs> I mean, Ten of Cups on top of that? I mean, Six of Cups, Ten of Cups? I mean, again, maybe there is some negativity that you're thinking about. But who knows? Things change. People change, you know? So really nice read for you, though, to start off the year. Um, but, you know, again, if this is this is definitely a connection. But I do feel like around here with the Ace of Wands, if you are you know, focusing on just kind of creating new things for yourself, I feel like that's really good for you too. And you might be celebrating, you know, Three of Cups and then Ace of Cups working on yourself and loving yourself um, as well too. So I do see that as as a um, energy for you, Virgo. So overall, you kind of got out of that Two of Swords and uh, started making things happen here. Um, but uh, you or them, somebody here is... is uh, has opened up quite a bit and um again six of cup is ener energy of someone that you've known before the lovers over there deep connection and uh the ten of cups okay this is uh your happiness here and the five of coins you know that's uh any financial issues you've been kind of dealing with is uh is changing for you in the month of january as well all right so looking nice looking nice virgo all right so i'm gonna close it off there let me get you guys a oracle and uh, we should be good <clears throat> we have the tiger which is uh, the will or will uh, number 34 so that's the picture of it here so you see number 34 
Here we go. Let's see if I can read today. All right. So exercise your will and determination in ethical ways. Do not place your will over another's. You do not have control over anyone but yourself. Do not be afraid to be fierce, especially as a woman. We can ride our healthy anger, but we must eventually transform it into something more useful. Okay, Virgo, that's your reading. Um, hit the like, subscribe if you have not already. I uh, really appreciate the support. And um, until next time, I'll be coming out with your um, weeklies pretty soon as well. So keep an eye out for those. Okay, you guys have a good one. We'll see you.